different species of plants that are found in the tropics and some of them are actually from really cold climates so some of them can be from great climates some uh, one of them yeah two different species there's one different species that is hardy down to a zone free and guess what that is hosta so but all other ones the the second coldest is a zone six and the third one is a zone seven and the rest of them are nine to above so let's just start off with pastas oh and by the way the next video you guys will be seeing is me in florida or the video after that we are leaving wednesday or thursday to go to florida i cannot tell you guys what part but we are going to florida that's for sure so yeah that's for sure we're leaving wednesday or thursday not too sure yet but first plant is hosta. Look how gorgeous those hostas are. The leaves are very small, but the more growth, the more growth they put on, the bigger the leaves get, pretty much. So they are zone free, hardy down to 40 to 30 to 40 degrees. Um, there's a tag if you guys need to know some information. Zone free. I know it's upside down. Hold on, I try to take it off. Um, zone free. So zone free guys, I know it's backwards, but yeah, it's that. That's their zone. Sorry if you guys hear traffic. We are at our temporary house until we get down to Florida. So don't worry guys, I am fine. There's just a lot going on right now. But hey, we are leaving, so that's the good thing. All right, so next plant is pipe vine. Pipe vine is a good host plant for the pipe vine swallowtail. This type does not attract the gold rims, however. Strange, I know. The gold rim butterfly only lives in Florida and South America and Mexico. So, that's where they live. So, this guy, well, this one, this is an exotic pipe vine. No, not exotic, native pipe vine. It's all, it grows all the way up to Michigan and Colorado, believe it or not, which is very cold there. So, I never thought they will live in Colorado. But the butterfly does not live in Colorado. So, however, there's been eight reports of pipevine swallowtails recent years in Colorado. So, anyways, this is their host plant, pipevine, um, woolly Dutchman's pipe. It gets this exotic flower. Not, it's not the huge one, but a miniature one that is like a little pipe. And it's really pretty, and I got two of them. Well, technically three. I put two in a pot. So, really pretty pipevine. Love the plant, and it's gorgeous. And I did have, I technically did have four, but the other one died for winter, so I was quite sad. Oh well. And next one, money tree. And money tree is a zone. I would rate this as a zone 10 for 12, I believe. Or believe it or not. Because it made it through, it didn't make it for my, I did, this was my second money tree. And it's a, it's a, it was a zone nine, but then when we had that really cold front down to 16 degrees, believe it or not, that was so bad. It killed half of my plants, even my peace lilies. My peace lilies that were thriving for that weather, but not cold weather, but tropical weather. We only get one cold front, sorry, four or five years. So while well, we're still in Louisiana, but we're going to Florida, so we don't have to do with cold weather anymore, so that's good. But money tree, love that plant so much. It's a zone 9B to 10 to 12A. So something like that, not too sure yet. Or 11B, something like that, not too sure. Next up, I got an alocasia. Alocasia, well, elephant ear, not aloe, but uh, um, elephant ear. I actually confused with al uh, alocasia. Well, technically, like a, I don't know the name, but this is it. This is a black um, form of elephant ear. It is a gorgeous plant. Sorry if you guys hear so much traffic. There's car, we live right, temporary main road. Tons of main roads. So yeah, but here's an alocasia. Really, really pretty. Love the elephant leaf vibe it gives off. Look at the leaves. Oh my God, I love it. And there's, they do produce flowers, but you have to wait a few years. They look like peace lilies, the flowers. I've only seen them in the green form, but I've never seen them in the black form. So we'll wait and see what happens. But next plant is, you guessed it, a house plant, a peace lily. 
Well, most of these guys are house plants for you northerners, but down here in the tropics, they can grow outside. So, yeah, that's that. Um, this ha is getting more flowers. Just good. This flower burned away because it got too much sun, so that was quite sad. Peace to leaves, Arizona. And all these plants like medium to high water. They love the water, guys. Some of them don't, some of them do. It all really depends. So this guy, gorgeous, zone 10 as well, and gorgeous. The zone 10 for 12. It's found in South America too, I believe. Next plant, tropical milkweed, believe it or not. I don't know why I added this in. Oh yeah, I do know why I added it in the list. It's tropical, get it? The name, tropical milkweed. Asclepius stusarosa, I believe it is. Something like that, tropical milkweed. Love it, love the flowers. Post plant for monarch butterfly as well as queen butterfly. I'm so sorry if you hear so much traffic. Just enjoy the plants, have a great time. And yeah, so tropical milkweed, post plant for monarch and queen, depends where you are in the state. So beautiful tropical milkweed, love the plant. Uh, next plant there is, is, you guessed it, banana trees. If you did, if you were right, banana trees, dwarf, what type is this? Well, it is a fruiting banana. I don't have the tag, but when I did have the tag, it said nine through 12. So something like that, really pretty tree. And it has, remember, remember I had one last year, but it was a little more darker form than this. I don't know, I'm still trying to find the same variety I got last year. I forgot the name, of course. But look at it, it's so pretty. See the little dark leaning? Yeah, it's really pretty. Um, dwarf, um, banana split dwarf dish, something like that, not sure. But it's a beautiful banana. This is old dwarf bananas, they're edible, they're good to eat, and I love them. I got one at a store recently and it was so good. But um, yeah, so that's that. Dwarf bananas, really highly recommend this plant. They are found in tropical gardens and all that. And yeah, next plant. This guy's a zone seven, believe it or not. It says zone seven. Yeah, zone seven. Cannot believe that. Hardy down to negative 10 or zero degrees. No, not negative 10, just 10 or zero, something like that. But I would definitely put in an eight plus climate. So, but it says zone seven. So believe it or not, it does survive some climates there. Like northern, um, like, uh, what do you call it? Northern Louisiana, Arkansas, all of And this is a, the black form. I love the black form. It's not in bloom yet, but they will be in bloom very soon. So, this is not my plants, just one of my neighbor, one of my friend's plants. So, a really gorgeous plant. Next up, this. You are right, you guessed it. This is. Sorry if you hear traffic, guys so much noise but look at the flower that this guy is this is not really sure the name but i do believe went hardiness hardy down to 40 degrees so this i'll put this in the zone 10a to 12b something like that so that's their plant i don't know the name but well, if you do know the name, it's like, I don't know. I don't know the name. But you guys probably recognize the flower. It's really pretty. Love the flowers. And next up, passion vine. You guys guessed it. I found out, believe it or not, this is a tropical passion vine. Zone 9 for 12. Besides, there are other species like a zone 7 passion vine. The 7 to 8 to 9 to 10. And this is a zone 8B to 12A, no, 8B to 11A, something like that. So, gorgeous passion vine. You guys probably remember the huge flowers there were. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Give this video a big thumbs up. If you liked it, please subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.